All right, so um, we're gonna talk about some of the changes for STY, SEY in our folders in SSIS. Um, the screen that you're seeing right now is I'm in the assessment work group and I have my youth, which is Avino Chalupka. Um, so uh, with the, my screen, I have my youth, which is Avino Chalupka, and I have the person node uh, folder open. And because of the changes of FFPSA, um, I'm gonna show you, give you a demonstration and show you those screens where we made those changes. And it's gonna go live September 30th. So on the tree view on the left-hand side, under my youth name, Avino Chalupka, we have the sex trafficking, trafficking exploitation at risk. Um, so there is the new thing is the new label. They've added the at risk, the label. Um, and with the, uh, SEY, STY, it's the same functionality. It's just a label, a label change. What's new though is the at-risk screen and let me show you how to get there. So when you, um, you put, I'm a right clicker, so I would right click, but you can also use the action button to get your, your options. But um, with this, you can add a new SEY, STY or add the at risk. Um, with my screen, it's grayed out right now because I do have, I did put an at risk um, documentation on this, on my uh, screen. So let's go into the at risk screen here. And at the at risk screen here, you will see that they um, had the uh, question with, you will choose your primary risk factor for sex trafficking or for S uh, CSE. Okay, you're gonna check all that apply. We have uh, it listed down below and it's, we have forms of sexual exploitation. Uh, we have um, option of connection to individuals who are, were sexually exploited. Um, another option that you can, uh, that may apply is labor trafficking, exploitation and wage theft, or you can select not applicable, okay? On the next um, question here, the, these are the factors that are that you can select uh, for the secondary risk factors, and you can check all that up, apply. What I wanted to also to point out in this um, screen is uh, you may want to use your the hyperlink just like it works from from before. If you select on that hyperlink and you click on it, it will give you a guide as help test text. It will show you a where you can find the statute, okay? Um, and then maybe also we will have examples, um, but we do have that blue hyperlink uh, to be consistent with all of our other um, screens that in SSIS in regards to looking at that help text, that dictionary. So once you selected your uh, choices, then you will click save. And depending on, so let me just get to my screen here. I can't, oops. Okay, so I'm just going to move down. So depending on what you select or how you selected your primary risk factor and your secondary risk factor, you do have this number three. And with the number and the third question is, does the youth meet definition for at risk or of sex trafficking or commercial sexual exploitation? This applicable certification will say yes, if depending um, on what you select on the primary and secondary risk factors. Since this is yes, and if this youth will be placed in an out of home placement, you will need to link this. Um, at risk with the in the placement. So how do you do that? So I'm going to go back again to the we have the same youth, which is um, Avino. I'm going to go to the permanency folder, open that up. And then under the placement location and absences, oh, that's where I would right click. Again, you can right click or use the action button or use the lightning bolt above. Oops. 
And then for this one, I did, I added the, that placement, right? Because I, um, I added the new placement, so I already have that. Then I created this placement, and this is where kind of the new settings would be. So if you look at the setting and the reason, again, it's also hyperlinked in blue. You need the help desk text. Okay, and let me just click on the down arrow. And we have two applicable certifications. One is for residential program, and the other one is for the group home staff operated. And um, <clears throat> Sarah and Darianne had talked about that, and I talked about it during the policy training uh, webinar today. So these are the two settings that are applicable for Title IV. E, and then the reason would be the sex traffic, commercially sexual exploited at risk. So this is um, not added. So this is what we have, um, but how to link that then is if you go to the action menu, and then there is the add existing SEY, STY or at risk link. You would click that. And that's what I do here, okay. And then since up here, when we have the SEY, STY on the left-hand side, since the at risk uh, result for number three, it says number, yes. So I'm gonna link that to this placement and then click okay. Let's save the changes. And then if we look at the placement, now the at risk is now linked to displacement. Um, so just um, don't forget to link it. If you have, are doing a placement, a child that's out of home placement to make sure that we have that documentation needed for the uh, requirements to get Title IV -E reimbursement. And that's it. Do you have any questions? Co-facilitators, do we have any questions? This is Molly. I'm mm -hmm. not. Not seeing. Okay. We do have. We do really encourage you to go to the um, that link that I sent uh, with the tutorial. Uh, it kind of gives you a step-by-step -step guide. The changes is specifically starts on page 12 all the way to 19. So uh, we just added the new material for the FFPSA um, it, with the existing document uh, for SEY, STY. Um, so the tutorial might look pretty thick, uh, but specifically with the things, uh, I, uh, topics that we're talking about today, uh, it starts on page 12, and I believe it ends on page 19. We, we did just have a question pop up from Annie. Okay. And it says, if not SEY, do you still have to link the doc? Well, if it's not SEY, would it be at risk? If it's not at risk or not SEY, then you do not need to link it because it will not, the child will not have to go to this, to the specialized setting. She said, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Any others? Nothing new. Nothing new, okay. Yeah, um, let us know if you have any questions. Um, you can always call um, or contact myself or Eric Kratt. Um, always go to, uh, take a look at their website at the Minnesota Child Welfare Training Academy. Um, we will have the recordings ready up and running maybe in a week from now. It's, we just need to give us some time to 
gather all of our documentations together and then we will upload all of our um, video and documentation in, uh, in the um, FFPSA uh, website through the Training Academy.